Hello, grade six. For this week, we are going to talk about changes in matter. The objectives for this week, we are going to identify physical change in matter. We already talked about physical properties. Now we're going to talk about physical chain. Also, we are going to identify chemical change in matter. We also talked about the chemical properties. Now we're going to talk about chemical change in matter. Identify the law of conservation of mass. We have a law of con conservation of mass. We are going to find out what it means and explain it. We're going to explain how energy and matter related. So we have energy and matter. How are they related? We're going to know that this week. And then we're going to talk about thermal energy and change in matter. So not only energy as energy in general, we're going to talk about thermal energy precisely. And then we are going to identify the two types of reactions, exothermic and endothermic. These are the objectives for this week. For this week's activities, we will watch videos showing examples of physical and chemical change. So we already covered physical and chemical properties and what they mean. Now we're going to see how does the change happen in physical and chemical, okay? Also, we will fold papers as airplanes as an example of physical change. We already talked about how physical properties only changes the characteristics of matter. So now when we have a straight paper and we fold it into an airplane, this is considered as a physical change and I think this is a very interesting activity. And then we will read articles to get the full picture about thermal energy and heat. So since we have many new terms such as energy, thermal energy, heat, temperature, so we, we need to, to read articles so we can get the whole picture concerning terms. Also, we will watch a simulation that can help us understand more about the law of conservation of mass. So we will find out what does the law of conservation of mass means. But like briefly, since conservation means steady, not changing. So it has to do with something about mass not changing in matter. So we will watch a simulation that will help us understand it more. Also, we will solve live worksheets about thermal energy. Since we have new terms, such as thermal energy, heat, temperature, so we need to solve a lot of worksheets so we don't get mixed up between these terms. We will use online quizzes to assess our knowledge. Like every week, we need to do our online quizzes and self-assessment to know what we understood and what not, so we can repeat, uh, so I can repeat for you what you did not understand. This is it for week four. Thank you so much, grade six. Remember, I'm always here for you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. I'm ready to answer all your questions. Thank you.